Hi, I'm Dr. Emma Blake, urology and men's health expert. Today, we're talking about something that affects millions of men, testosterone. Low testosterone can lead to frustrating symptoms like reduced libido, low energy, brain fog, difficulty building muscle, and even mood changes. But it's more than just how you feel. Low testosterone is also linked to increased risks of heart disease, metabolic syndrome, osteoporosis, and even earlier mortality. So let's talk about how to naturally raise your testosterone without jumping straight to medications. These five strategies are backed by research and they're surprisingly effective when done consistently. And here's the truth. Many of them don't require massive life overhauls, just intentional changes you can start today. Let's begin with the first, losing excess weight. Fat tissue isn't just storage, it's metabolically active. And in men, fat cells contain an enzyme called aromatase. This enzyme converts your testosterone into estrogen. So the more fat you carry, especially around the belly, the more testosterone is lost. Studies show that overweight men can significantly boost testosterone through weight loss. In one study, men who lost an average of 21 kilograms, or around 46 pounds, had a measurable increase in their testosterone levels but even smaller losses help. In fact, another study found that by increasing physical activity, men only needed to lose about 12 kilograms, or 26 pounds, to see a testosterone boost. So the goal isn't perfection, it's progress. That brings us to number two, exercise. What kind of exercise actually boosts testosterone? Researchers compared steady state cardio like jogging or cycling at a consistent pace, with high-intensity interval training, or HIT. In young, healthy men, those who did HIT, alternating between 90 seconds of intense effort and 90 seconds of rest, saw a greater spike in testosterone after the workout compared to those who did steady cardio. Interestingly, that testosterone spike didn't last beyond 12 hours, likely because the body was using it for recovery. So the takeaway? Add short bursts of high-intensity exercise to your week. This could mean sprint intervals, circuit training, or even weighted conditioning. Done safely and within your fitness level. And now, number three, diet. We hear a lot about testosterone-boosting foods. But here's what really matters. Your diet needs to be nutrient-dense and free of excessive processed junk. That means real foods, fruits, vegetables, whole proteins, healthy fats. One large population study found that men who drastically restricted fat in their diets had lower testosterone levels than men who ate moderate amounts of fat. So unless you're on a specific medical plan, don't avoid fat altogether, especially healthy fats from avocados, olive oil, nuts, and eggs. I'm also often asked about soy. Does soy lower testosterone? It's a common fear because soy contains phytoestrogens, plant compounds that mimic estrogen. But according to a 2010 meta-analysis of 47 studies, even high soy intake didn't reduce testosterone in men. One trial gave men 41 grams of soy protein per day, twice daily, for four weeks. The result? No measurable change in testosterone. So unless you have a specific allergy, Moderate soy intake appears to be safe. Let's talk about number four, sleep. Sleep is when your body resets hormones, including testosterone. But over the past few decades, adult sleep duration has declined, and testosterone levels have declined right along with it. In a national health survey of over 2,300 men, each hour of lost sleep was associated with a nearly six-point drop in testosterone. Another controlled study had men sleep only five hours per night for one week, and their testosterone dropped by 15%. That's a major hit from one simple factor. If you want to boost testosterone, aim for consistent, high-quality sleep. Stick to a bedtime routine, limit screen time at night, and keep your wake-up time stable. Some data suggests that waking up extremely early, before your natural rhythm, is especially harmful to hormone levels. Now finally, number five, avoid endocrine disrupting chemicals. 
These are environmental toxins that interfere with your body's hormonal systems. They're found in plastics, canned goods, certain cosmetics, and industrial pollutants. One major culprit? BPA, or bisphenol A studies, show that men with higher BPA exposure, especially younger men, tend to have significantly lower testosterone. So what can you do? Switch to glass or stainless steel containers. Avoid microwaving food in plastic. Look for BPA-free labels. Reduce canned food use when possible. These small changes reduce your exposure to hormone-disrupting chemicals and support your body's natural testosterone production. Now, what about supplements? If you want to take things to the next level, let me introduce you to one of my top recommendations, Critical Tea. Critical Tea uses a uniquely powerful custom combination of raw ingredients that may safely boost your testosterone, while keeping estrogen levels in check at the same time. To make this happen, Critical Tea starts out with a native Malaysian plant called Uricoma longifolia that naturally supports your body's testosterone production. You may have heard of it by the name Tongkat Ali, or Long Jack. By boosting luteinizing hormone in your testes, Tongkat Ali has been found to increase total and free testosterone concentration in both male and female subjects. One study even measured a bump in salivary testosterone levels over time. And that's just the start. Next comes diendolomethane, or DIM. This powerful compound supports your liver by converting excess estrogen into an inactive form, which is then flushed out through your urine. According to researchers at NYU and the University of Arizona Cancer Center, DM also blocks the process of aromatization. That's the conversion of testosterone into estrogen. So not only does it help clear excess estrogen, it prevents testosterone from being lost in the first place. The third ingredient is called acacetin. This surprising compound comes from a small North American plant called Ternera diffusa. Researchers at the University of Mississippi found that acacetin alone could reduce aromatase activity in the body, the very enzyme responsible for testosterone loss. In short, Critical T delivers a carefully calibrated one-two punch designed to both support natural testosterone and maintain normal estrogen levels in men. So if you're serious about supporting your testosterone, protecting your estrogen balance, and feeling like yourself again, look for the link to Critical T in the video description below. And as always, take care of your health. You are absolutely worth it. If you found this helpful, I'd truly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to stay informed on the latest in men's health, and it helps more people find evidence-based information they can trust. If you know someone who's struggling with low energy, libido, or testosterone issues, consider sharing this video with them. You never know who might need to hear it today. I read every comment, so feel free to ask questions or suggest future topics. Your health matters, and you're not alone on this journey.